lads. It's me, Jason Statham, and tonight we're back, and we're going to be reviewing my brand new film that's playing in cinemas across the globe. Of course, I'm talking about The Beekeeper, and once again, I'm Jason Statham, and this film has no fucking Megalodon. And that is right, we are here to review the brand new Jason Statham action movie. It's directed by David Ayer this time, obviously End of Watch, Training Day, Fury, and Suicide Squad. Um, he is back, and for the first time, you know, directing Jason Statham, the man, the myth, the legend. You know, he's used to working with animals, and this time he's working with those damn bees. And you don't mess with the bees, otherwise you're going to mess with the high. You are a problem. You're damn right I'm a problem. No way he's coming here straight through the back entrance. I figured I'd give the firefighters a break. Somebody detain this guy. Ah! So, yeah, I didn't really know anything about this film before, you know, I heard the the name of it and I was like, Jason Statham, the beekeeper, what the hell is this movie about? Uh, I didn't really know what to expect here, but yes, indeed, it's Jason Statham, as you know and love, it's him, you know, getting revenge on somebody for being an asshole, basically. <laughs> Yeah, the opening of the movie I thought was funny because in my career in IT, this happens almost daily. An older person gets a scareware pop up on their computer, usually click on a bullshit link. Call this number, your computer's infected, person calls, and that's how the movie's set up. It's Alicia Rashad from The Cosby Show. She's like the older lady in the beginning of the movie. She, you know, scareware pop up, calls the number. It's some bullshit call center, you know, bad guys, essentially. They they wipe all of her accounts, mm. has nothing, basically. And of course, she's upset and she ends up, you know, killing killing herself because she lost all the money and everything. Brings in Jason Statham, you know, former assassin. It's now a beekeeper. And also what we find out in the movie, part of the secret organization called the Beekeepers. But he goes after the bad guys, the people in the call center. And of course, the call center is working for the big villain in the movie played by Josh Hutcherson. So Jason Statham, he is there at the house and you know, he goes back to the house after the ladies killed herself and he kind of discovers the body and he does a little investigation and finds out about these people, where they're at, and he's going to go exact some re revenge here. Uh, in this, I noticed uh, Emmy Raver Lampman. I recognized her from Umbrella Academy. Uh, she played Felicia Rashad's daughter in this, who's an FBI agent. So she's one of the main players here. And then, like you mentioned, yes, you have Josh Hutcherson playing Derek, you know, the sleaze ball behind this organization. And you also have, you know, this was a pretty strong cast, too. I didn't know all these people were going to be in it, as well as Jeremy Irons as Wallace Westlands. So it's a, it's a great cast that they put together for this. Uh, but essentially, yes, you have Jason Statham's character, Adam Clay. Um, exacting revenge he goes to yeah he goes to the place lights it on fire and that uh, starts off the rest of the movie them trying to figure out who he actually is and this movie has some surprises along the way some twists and turns um you know you think it's going to be pretty standard but uh, there's some twists and turns along the way and that has to do a lot with uh you know david Ayer being uh the director here uh kurt wemmer being the writer uh they they wrote a good script here they had a good script for just you know for a basic jason statham action movie it was had more depth than most of his other movies we'll put it that way but uh yeah some awesome action scenes some great you know kills here and eventually where it leads to, I, I didn't really see coming. I didn't know how deep this was going to go, but this, you know, it, uh, it goes to the top, we'll say the top of the food chain. Yeah. It's all connected that we find out. And I didn't see that coming either. And this is more of a pleasant surprise for me. Didn't know much about this movie. You said beekeeper. And I think my reaction was what the fuck is the beekeeper? <laughs> <laughs> so I finally, you know, I got to check it out. Jason Statham's mm -hmm. always fun to watch hit or miss, you know, depending on the movie guy, Richie usually, films he's really fantastic in action movies so, but he goes full on john wick in this film getting some revenge they're these bad guys led by josh hutcherson and he was a great villain i had a lot of fun with his character 
just seeing him in Five Nights at Freddy's and then playing this complete opposite character, this bad guy. Yeah. I thought he did a great job. And the guy you don't, you know, trust or like, and he did that very well. Supporting cast, there's some big Hollywood A-listers that pop up in this movie that I didn't see coming and they had smaller parts, but it was really fun. And, you know, overall, pretty good uh, story, good directing. The writing was pretty good, too. Love Jason Statham and the character, ridiculous but fun action movie that you can just kick back, relax, and not think and have a fun time with it. Surprised by this and a movie I'd probably rewatch eventually. That being said, I'm going to give The Beekeeper, currently playing in cinemas, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. Jason Statham hat pieces. So you know what you're going to get here. You're going to get a Jason Statham action movie, balls to the wall action, a great cast, a great director, and it all comes together in the end. And uh, I know a surprising movie for me. You know, I kind of ex- expected one thing, but uh, there's some depth here to this one. So, yeah, I was happy with the final product on this. And, uh, you know, we, you get the obligatory shot of Jason Statham putting on the suit and, you know, and then him taking care of business and just beating up hundreds of people <laughs> at a time. <laughs> uh, so it, it's a fun movie all around. If you're a Jason Statham fan, you're going to love this movie. So with that being said, I'm going to give Jason Statham in The Beekeeper. I'm going to give it a four out of five Jeremy Irons hair pieces. So I want to hear from all you Jason Statham impersonators out there. What did you like about the beekeeper? What didn't you like about it? What's your favorite Statham movie? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to stab subscribe. Also check out these wild rascals on Facebook, X and Instagram and our website, cinefellas.com for the latest, greatest TV movie news and reviews. We want to thank everybody for tuning in to our review of my new film, The Beekeeper. And just remember next time, just leave me to my bees and leave me alone. Otherwise, I'll come for you. So until the next Cinefellas movie review, I'm Uncle Henry Statham. To be or not to be, or to get stung by a hornet's nest. I'm Logan Statham. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.